My friend Pedro is a side-scrolling shoot-'em-up, and it's a really fun indie. You will be rolling, jumping, and dodging throughout the levels as you blast away at anyone you come across. There's a small yet enjoyable set of weapons to use as well. The elevator pitch is a side-scrolling Max Payne, but Pedro takes on a dark sense of humor with brighter visuals. And the arcadey design means you will naturally find yourself being pulled into the game more. Whether for five minutes or for five hours, this is a really well-done indie. Let's start off with the basics. When it comes to your movement, your character is a bit floaty. This works for most of the game as it mixes well with the shooting. You can jump, dive, and even wall jump. Dodging is your main means to avoid taking a hit. Shooting is simple yet satisfying as you can even lock onto one enemy so that you can aim for another if you're carrying two weapons at one time. Your pistol never runs out of ammo, and as the campaign progresses, you get an SMG, shotgun, assault rifle, and sniper. SMGs are great for mowing down many enemies at once. The shotgun is probably the most satisfying to use as it will blow away body parts right off the henchman. The assault rifle is the most deadly weapon at any range, and the sniper is your go-to for long-range combat. The shooting feels great with solid sound and impact effects. Weapons are distinct and enjoyable, with the impact being the strongest aspect about it. Killed foes will flop around, and I really like the ragdoll here. Plus, like I said, the shotgun produces the best results. My friend Pedro is very easy to get into, and it has enough small nuances with the movement and learning the levels to provide players with something more skill-based to work towards. The scoring system mixed with the solid minute-to-minute -minute gameplay means you will naturally feel it pulling you back in. I would boot this game up to play it for 30 minutes, and before I knew it, I had been playing for two hours. To keep the variety high, there is a nice mixture of other elements and one-off events to keep you interested. Some areas have minor puzzles, like using your slow motion to get past gates. Many levels have ropes to swing off of as you perform John Woo-like moves. Some have skateboards or even barrels that you can use and ride on. One level has you trying to kill enemies before they hit an alarm to call backup. There's levels with traps as you avoid lasers, and there's an exhilarating free-falling level and a very fun motorcycle one. I found it really enjoyable to replay levels and experiment with what the level had going on with it, along with trying a new combination of jumps and guns. Small touches like kicking knives at people or shooting stuff off the ceiling was really memorable. My friend Pedro moves at a brisk pace, with each level being refined, focused, and enjoyable. It seems like the developers trimmed any of the fat and gave something very focused, and it shows. Levels never overstay their welcome, and I really like how they try to provide new things in each of the areas to keep it engaging. There there are boss fights, mostly these just come across as fun distractions, but not the best area of the game. The regular combat is where Pedro is at its best. When it comes to flaws, I don't have many. There is one level with no shooting and just platforming, and it's easily the worst one in the game. And it isn't even that bad, but stands out considering all the other ones are good to great. And it is a reminder that the platforming works well with the shooting, but not by itself. So in one level, you get to use a motorcycle, but sadly this is never used again. I found this to be a mis opportunity because of how much of a power trip using it was. The sense of speed mixed with the action was great. They really had something with this level, and I think the game needed a few more of them. And lastly, like I said, the bosses could have been a bit better. Some have some interesting mechanics, but they generally felt very ho-hum to me. My Friend Pedro is a very fun game. It is easy to pick up and enjoy and has just enough going on to improve on with your skill. The minute-to-minute -minute action mixed with the slow motion is great, and the levels lend themselves well to be played again and again. Between improving your score and finding and applying modifiers, there is a lot of replay value here. My Friend Pedro is short and sweet and I recommend it. If you're interested in being notified of new videos, please hit the subscribe button and bell. And if you would like to support the channel and get early access to content, please check out my Patreon. All of the links will be at the end of this video and within the description. And thank you very much for watching.